Hey everybody, this is Brian Gormley with CapitalShortSale.com and Cornerstone Properties. Coming at you with another edition of Where in Greater DC. And as everyone knows, uh, sorry for the truck noise, uh, we, uh, we film all over the Greater Washington DC Baltimore area. And whoever guesses the, uh, our filming location each week uh, gets a free prize, whatever we're giving away that week. Uh, you just send your guesses to support at cornerstonepropertieshomeinfo.com. That's support at cornerstonepropertieshomeinfo.com. Each week we talk about an aspect of the uh, real estate industry that uh, may be of some general interest, particularly with respect to uh, you know our current housing market and short sales and foreclosures and mods and all the rest. So uh, we had some uh, response the last time I walked uh, a uh, downtown area. We uh, we were walking in. Um, well, we walked in Annapolis before we walked in uh, Georgetown, and in Georgetown's uh, day, we, we all talked about strategic default, so I figured that we would just walk a little bit in this uh, very popular uh, area, which should be extremely recognizable, um, and do a little sequel on these uh, on these strategic defaults and point out a, uh, a very good place to eat um, by the by. So, <laughs> here we go. Um, you know, strategic defaults, I guess the... The lure for people in doing a strategic default, right, is because they're embittered. They're, they uh, they say, screw it, um, I've had enough, I don't want to get the runaround uh, from the from my lender, I am, uh, I'm tired of this. And uh, I was just dealing with a high-end Bethesda uh, short sale uh, that we've been working for a couple of months. And, uh, you know, of course the lender had this ridiculously high value. And uh, we had buyers, and then, you know, finally we got we were able to get the value down um, to something much more reasonable, and then, you know, we didn't have any more buyers left. Um, so it was, um, you know, a little frustrating, and it made the, the homeowner actually say, um, you know, it makes me just want to, you know, foreclose, throw my hands up, and walk away. And I said, oh, no, <laughs> there we go again. And at that point, the homeowner was current, and, and then actually they, 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 you know, they still will be by the time we settle. Um, and, and this is the reality, and oh, by the way, this is a fantastic place to eat. Um, this is my uh, favorite place, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there you go. Um, very, very good tasty food. They have the, uh, the ducks in the, in the back just hanging out for your viewing pleasure. So, uh, you know, the, the, the point is, though, that it basically never makes any sense to strategically, strategically default. And I think the, the misconception comes in uh, or the gap in reason that the, the uh, lender isn't going to pursue uh, you for the deficiency. Um, the reality is that credit bureaus now have the ability to target folks who are, who are going to strategically default. Uh, they have a statistically more significant uh, likelihood, uh, according to their algorithms, of predicting strategic default folks versus not. And uh, guess what? Freddie and Fannie are specifically, they, they have, uh, you know, they, they specifically target people who have strategically defaulted on their loan uh, for deficiencies. So, you know, Freddie's, Freddie's policy is not to pursue a deficiency judgment from primary residents uh, after a short sale. But guess what? If you strategically default, what does that mean? The, the lender is having to foreclose on you, right? It's not this uh, sexy sort of thing. It's the lender has to foreclose. It's a foreclosure. Strategic default equals foreclosure. Choice, voluntary foreclosure, but foreclosure nonetheless. And, um, and isn't that a gorgeous structure? I love it. Uh, anyway, the... Uh, <laughs> Um, and, and what does Freddie do? They go and pursue you, pursue you for the deficiency because they specifically target folks who do that. So, uh, you know, I think that misconception really is the key to folks understanding a little bit better about what they're doing when they when they uh, when they default uh, intentionally. It's not a uh, it's actually not a wise decision. It may be an emotional decision. Uh, it may be a frustration. Uh, exasperation decision, but at the end of the day, it is not a wise decision. Uh, there are better alternatives out there, uh, whether even if it's a deal new, certainly a short sale, um, and uh, possibly even other things as well, actually. So uh, think about that when you're uh, considering a, a strategic default. Uh, just think through a little bit uh, your you know your options, and or if you're a real estate professional, consider counseling your um, you know your clients uh, accordingly. And it, it certainly uh, you know the deficiency uh, is going to be smaller through a short sale if you're uh, going to know about selling. And, uh, and, and therefore, even if you can't get the deficiency waived in full, it'll be smaller than a foreclosure and, and uh, obviously a much less significant credit mark. Uh, and all around, uh, you know, just as a result, uh, better uh, better for the homeowner. So anyway, uh, that's it. Um, enjoy the, uh, the view. Don't forget to send your guests support at Cornerstone Properties, homeinfo.com. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy this uh, 
this little uh, ad hoc troop doing their little artwork. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.